Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we have an update on the parry and control issues. Uh, by the time you see this video, Kabam will have made the announcement on the forums, and you'll see a bunch of different YouTubers uh, also sharing this news with you. But I know some of you like to hear my thoughts on it and um, how I might explain a few things. Uh, so let's dive into it. All right. So let's pop this up here. All right. So this is what we were given. Uh, this is actually a second revision based on some feedback that they got over the first revision. All right. But greeting summoners, we wanted to update you on the issues that players have been encountering since the release of 32. All right. Uh, first, we want to thank you all for your patience and understanding. Thank you. Uh, we know that this has caused trouble for our players. That's an understatement. And that is never something that we want. And it isn't. That's not what they want. OK, uh, we're happy to announce an update. 31.1.1 is coming later today, tomorrow at the latest. This update will start to make controls more reliable again. So we've got it. It's coming. OK, now here's the caveat. 31.1.1 will not 100% resolve the issue, but should improve upon where we are now. We are not done working on this, okay? Uh, but want to get an update that improves gameplay out to you all sooner rather than later. That's good. But I can already hear people complaining. You know, it's like, oh, they didn't fix anything. You know, that it. they've already said it will not 100% resolve the issue but it should be better than it is right now. And they're not done, okay? So please be patient a little bit longer. I know we want it to be completely done, but it's a not a simple problem to fix, okay? Uh, if you'd like a little more insight into the situation, you can read on below, okay? So you've got the important thing out of the way, update coming, and the update won't 100%, but it will improve it, okay? Now, as we mentioned earlier, we believe that a recent update to our game engine is the cause of the problems that players are experiencing. We think that we have been able to identify what caused this issue and are working with our partners to understand those changes right now. Now, if you are not a developer, let me tell you, problems with the game engine, that is at the core of everything. And not everyone works on the game engine. Now, I don't know which game engine they're using, but they're mentioning their partners. So they may have used a game engine made by someone else and they updated it and it caused these issues, okay? Anybody that's updated Windows knows that you can sometimes have issues after your update. And they believe they've identified it and they're going in and trying to fix it. Now, they may not be able to rework the game engine itself, especially if they're not the ones that have the source code or the right to do that. They may have to get them to make changes to their game engine, or they may have to jury rig something, okay? But that's the kind of uh, issues that we're facing here. Making those changes will be a lengthy process, yes, uh, where we will be refactoring a large part of the game to work with this engine update. Now, if you're not a developer, that term may or may not be familiar with you, uh, to you. Refactoring is one of the tasks I hated the most. Let me explain what that means. So you have all your code. I'll give you a very simple refactoring example. Very, very simple. Say you created some code and you named all of your uh, variables, which is where you store data and things like that, you name them a certain way. And the policy of the company changed and now you're required to maintain a certain naming convention throughout all code. And it's not the naming convention that you had used. Well, now you have to go back in your code and rename everything. Now, there are tools that help you do things like that, but that's the simplest example. Because what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go through all of the code 
and update that code. Now, it might be code that you haven't touched in a long time that has been working beautifully, but now with the update, you're gonna have to change that code so that it is not broken with the new update. So one update or several updates can break the code in several areas that depend on it. That's refactoring. So that refactoring is a big job and I'd be surprised if they fully refactored everything and didn't have some issues where they're going to have to fix it again. I'd be very surprised in a, you know, software of this magnitude, it's, it's almost guaranteed you're going to have some issues uh, in the re refactoring. All right, let's continue. Uh, our goal with this update and refactor is to make controls reliable within the game again. This means that you should be able to reliably parry, dexterity, evade, and commit actions in a way that players can count on again. We will continue to make adjustments to ensure these controls respond properly and feel good again. Our two major goals with this update and going forward are reduce the input lag on our systems to create a more responsive game, that is huge, to create new systems that will be robust and produce a reliable input response. That is very nice. If they can do and meet all of those goals that they mentioned, those two, the game will be in a much better place later. Uh, now for a topic that has come up uh, many times, compensation for this issue. We understand that the issue has caused delays in new content and may have put summoners in a place where they would have used resources they otherwise would not have. Over the last month, we've addressed issues in Alliance Quests with potions and revives, glory and map crystals, and some smaller compensation packages for single player content. They have, no one can say they haven't. Uh, we will be ending the smaller compensation packages now and plan to give summoners a package of items and resources to address the delay in AW seasons. This will not be based on previous AW season standings. Uh, spent resources as well as some gifts as a thank you for sticking with us while we work to address this problem. So don't panic. They are not gonna do those small compensations that we've been getting every week or so, but they are going to give us a big compensation package now that they have some fix in, all right? Um, as mentioned above, additional adjustments will continue to be made over time, but we're choosing to forego our usual rule of wait until everything is fully resolved and we'll be working on getting this out to summoners by the end of the month. Understand what that means. That's good because everybody's always asking, when are you gonna give us compensation? Well, once they get everything fixed, then they assess the damage and make compensation. They're saying they're not gonna do that this time. They are already working on the package and will get it even though everything is not 100% resolved we're still gonna get a big boy compensation package, okay? After 31.1.1 has been released, we will be resuming Alliance Wars uh, seasons on August 18th, boo, and the first week of qualifiers for Summoner Showdown on August 16th, yay! Alliance quests will remain free for the time being, yay! But there won't be any more weekly AQ compensation packages, eh. They were, they were really good, I must say. So here's the recap. We have an update releasing today or tomorrow that will begin to address the issues we've recently been experiencing. Understand, begin to address, so they're not done. Future versions will continue to improve on these issues. Alliance War Seasons 28 will resume on August 18th. Alliance Quest will remain free for the time being. Some of the showdown will commence on August 16th and we can expect a compensation package heading our way before the end of the month. So that is the update. That is our news. And it is good news and it's hopeful news. I don't know if I'm going to update my game right away, especially if I'm in the middle of a arena grind, uh, but I might because uh, I'm thinking about going for Spider-Man 2099 is a five star this weekend. And then maybe if I feel like it going for Kingpin uh, as a six star, but 
this is a good time for them to do this. I'll update. And if it's a problem, then I'll just wait and do what I normally do and wait for round two and go for the five star there. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. What are your thoughts on this? You know, do you think they are going to uh, get everything right the first time? We already know better, right? But yet there are people that will still be disappointed uh, that they didn't. But anyway, leave a comment below. Take care and you all have a blessed day.